Hello everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. So this week I'll be showing you a quick technique that you can use to create smooth text in 3D Studio Max. Oftentimes this can be a little bit hard because the Turbo Smooth modifier doesn't do well with the polygons on the top and bottom of your text. I'm going to type in some demo text here and I'm going to apply a shell modifier in order to get that into a 3D object that we can work with. So the goal here is to smooth out this object so we don't get these hard edges everywhere. But the trouble is that text like this has polygons on the top and bottom of each letter that are very ambiguous and 3D Studio Max doesn't handle these very well. Even though they're completely planar, even though they're simple to render, they're not simple to work with programmatically. Take a look. When we apply a Turbo Smooth modifier, Studio Max tries to handle these complex objects and it doesn't work out very well. It destroys the text. So how do we get around this? Well, in this technique, we'll be converting this object into a Pro Boolean object and letting the Pro Boolean Quadrilateral Tessellation Handler take care of this problem for us. That's kind of a mouthful. Let me show you how to do it. Jump back out to the Create panel and go to Geometry standard primitives and create a cube somewhere and make sure it's not intersecting any of your geometry so just like that I'm going to select my text again and convert it to a pro boolean object so geometry compound objects pro boolean and subtraction is selected by default which is great I'm going to click start picking and I'm going to select that cube. So it's not going to make any change to my geometry. But what that does, and you have to do that, is make this a legitimate Pro Boolean object. And that's what will enable, under the advanced options, the quadrilateral tessellation, which is right here in this group. When I click on Make Quadrilaterals, you'll notice that now the Pro Boolean object takes care of these weird shapes, and it tries to tessellate them intelligently. This is a little bit low for what I'm looking for, so I'm going to increase uh, the number of quads that go into this object by reducing the quad size in this spinner. I'm going to go from 3% to, um, let's try 0.8, so 8 tenths of a percent, maybe a little bit lower, 0.5. There we go. So half of a percent, and this will change depending on the size of your scene, but now you'll see I have tons and tons of quads all over this object. So when I apply the Turbo Smooth modifier back here in the Modify panel, you'll notice that I get nice smooth letters. Now it takes a lot of polygons to do this, so it's not great for low poly work, it's not that great for animation, but it looks just superb when you're doing these high resolution renders. And that's the technique. That's how you get nice smooth letters in 3D Studio Max. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday movie. You can find all of my Monday movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads on my website, www.mrbluesummers.com.